<clears throat> Good morning. Thank you to each and every one of you for being here with us on this beautiful day. We are very pleased to be able to welcome the families of our fallen officers who have paid the ultimate sacrifice to protect our community. Welcome to all who have been with us over the years, as well as those who, have, who are here for the very first time. To all our distinguished guests, welcome. Special thanks to Lieutenant Trent and his staff who put together the, this extraordinary display. I'm Assistant Chief Troy Ellison of the Executive Bureau of Chiefs uh, for this department. I'm honored to be here to share in this momentous occasion in respect to the fallen officers being recognized this morning. Thank you again for joining us today and I hope you enjoy our ceremony. Without further ado, I'm proud to introduce Joanne Keith, chaplain for the Little Rock Police Department, who will give our opening invocation. Will you pray with me? Our most loving and gracious Heavenly Father, creator of heaven and earth, thank you that we are able to gather here today for the Little Rock Police Memorial and to remember those who gave their life, their ultimate sacrifice while serving the city of Little Rock will never be forgotten. I ask, Father God, that you will be with the family members today, the loved ones, the friends, the co-workers who knew and worked with these wonderful men and women we're going to remember. Encourage them today, Lord, to help them to know that they're not alone and that we are with them in their grief. Loving Father, thank you that you're always with us we pray for our police officers and ask that they would know your presence is with them as they face the challenges and demands of their work as officers of the law. When their work feels overwhelming, we ask that you bring peace and clarity of mind. There's no pure source of peace and joy than you, Lord. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Good morning. We ask at this time for those of you that will stand with us as we do the presentation of the colors, followed by the national anthem and the opening remarks from Chief Helton. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets Bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet 
way Oh, the land of the free And the home of the brave Please be seated. Good morning. I am uh, Chief Heath Helton, Little Rock Police Department. It is my extreme honor to be here with you this morning. Uh, I want to first uh, recognize our, our dignitaries that are here, members of the city board, city manager Moore, our law enforcement partners uh, who are, are very much of a valuable resource to us our retired officers that have uh, made the opportunity or, or the time to come out with us today, and then most importantly, our family members that are here with us today. You are important to us. We value your relationship, uh, and we want to continue to remind you that we're here for you no matter how long. We're always, and you're part of our family, and we appreciate y'all. You know, every day when the men and women of Little Rock Police Department pin on their badges, they make an extraordinary commitment to the members of our community. To rush toward danger, regardless of the risk, and to faithfully stand up for the rule of law. Across our community, they put themselves in harm's way, hoping to return home safely to their families. Today and throughout this week, we celebrate the remarkable courage our officers, of our officers and honor the fallen heroes who made the, uh, made the ultimate sacrifice to protect our community. Our city, as well as our nation, expects a lot from our police officers. They save lives by keeping our roads and the highways safe, responding to domestic violence incidents, and even natural disasters. We are tasked to ensure public safety, build trust within our neighborhoods, and protect the well-being of our community. Too often, we are also called upon to respond to mass shootings, drug overdoses, mental health crises, and even more. Be a police officer is just not what we do, it's who we are. The same is true for their families who sacrifice alongside these heroic officers. It takes a special person to marry, or be the child of a police officer, knowing the uncertainty as their loved one walks out the door and dreading the possibility of receiving that phone call. No memorial can ever fill the void left in their hearts of those who have lost a loved one in the line of duty, but their sacrifices in full service to their community will never be forgotten. We will continue to honor their memories with actions that help keep our law enforcement officers and communities safe from harm. At the National Law Enforcement Memorial in D.C., there is a quote that's engraved on the walls, and it reads, It's not how these officers died that made them heroes. It's how they lived. Today, during this week and year-round, we express our gratitude for our uh, courageous men and women of the Little Rock Police Department. We honor their memory of the members who made the ultimate sacrifice, and we pray for their families. And we recommit ourselves to the sacred task of creating safer and a more just city for all of our residents. You know, Mayor Scott was not able to be with us today. He sends his apologies. Uh, he had another event scheduled that he was unable to get out of, but he asked that uh, I uh, provide and read a statement that he gave to me. He says, I apologize for not being able to attend this year's police memorial ceremony. Today is a time for all of us as Americans and residents of Little Rock to honor and pay tribute to our law enforcement heroes who gave the ultimate sacrifice and line of duty protecting our community and our country. We keep these families and friends and fellow officers of these heroes in our hearts and minds. We will never forget their sacrifice. And at this time, I'd like to read a proclamation issued by Mayor Scott in honor of today's ceremony. Whereas the Congress and President of the United States have designated the week of May 14th through 20th, 2023 as Police Week and May 15th, 2023 as Peace Officer Memorials Day and the Little Rock Police Department's annual memorial service has been designated for May 17th, 2023. And whereas the members of the Little Rock Police Department and other law enforcement agencies in Little Rock play an essential role in safeguarding the rights and freedoms of the residents of Little Rock. And whereas it is important that all residents understand the duties, responsibility, and hazards and sacrifices of the Little Rock Police Department and the members of the law enforcement agencies recognize their duty to service the people by safeguarding life, property, and by protecting against violence and disorder. 
and by protecting the innocent against deception and the weak against oppression. And whereas established in January of 1866, the Little Rock Police Department has grown to a modern law enforcement agency which increasingly provides a vital public service. Now, therefore, I, Frank Scott Jr., Mayor of the City of Little Rock, Arkansas, do hereby proclaim May 14th through the 20th, 2023, as Police Week in the City of Little Rock with the appropriate ceremonies in which all Little Rock residents may join in commemorating police officers, past and present, who by the faithful and loyal devotion their responsibilities have rendered a dedicated service to the city. I further call upon the residents of Little Rock to observe Peace Officer Memorial Day on Wednesday, May 17, 2023, within the city of Little Rock as part of a nationwide observance to be held in memory of fallen police officers, including 23 members of the Little Rock Police Department, who through their courageous deeds have lost their lives in honor of those peace officers who have become disabled in the meritorious performance of their duties. Hereby sealed, Frank Scott Jr., Mayor, City of Little Rock. With that being said, I want to thank everybody for being here. I want to thank the men and women of Little Rock Police Department. I remind you, it is always important to remain vigilant in what goes on around us. Take care of one another. Take care of your families. Uh, it, it's, you know, we've seen the tragedies that we go occur across our world and across our nation every single day. We live in a very different world than what we knew 5, 10, 15 years ago. It's up to us to continue to hold that line. Come to the job very passionate every day. Continue to love what you do. Take care of our communities and recognize the value that every human being has that we come into contact with. Thank you. Thank the families and thank all of our officers here today. John, the 15th chapter, verses 12 and 13 says, My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for a friend. Good afternoon. Scripture will be coming from Romans 13, chapter 1 through the 5th verse. And it simply says, Let everyone be subject to governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authority that exists have been established by God. Consequently, whoever rebel against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted. And those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers holds no terror for those that do right, but for those who do wrong. Do you want to be free from fear of one of the authorities? Then do what is right, and you will be commended. For the ruler do not bear the sword the sword for the, no reason. They are God's servants, agents of wrath to bring punishment on wrongdoers. Therefore, it is necessary to submit to the authorities, not only because of possible punishment, but also as a matter of conscience. At this time, we'll ask Chaplain Don Harrelson to come forward to read the officers' names, followed by a wreath-laying ceremony from Chief Helton. In loving memory, Officer William L. Copeland, Officer W.T. Phillips. 
Officer J. O. Miller. Sergeant William I. Campbell. Detective Sergeant Sam D. Morgan. Officer Joe Erber. Officer Thomas D. Hudson. Detective Sergeant John W. Cabanas. Officer Charles Faulkner. Detective Sergeant George W. Moore. Detective Sergeant Luther C. Hay. Officer Harvey L. Biggs. Officer Frank E. Swilling, Sr. Sergeant Samuel N. McDermott. Officer Robert A. Johnson. Lieutenant Oscar F. Jack Dubler. Officer Lloyd W. Worthy. Officer Alvin J. Free. Officer Noel D. McGuire. Officer David E. Barnett. Officer Henry L. Callahan. Detective Joseph T. Fisher. And Officer Jack D. Cooper. Good morning. My name is Andre Dyer. I'm assistant chief here with the city of Little Rock. Field Services Bureau. And I want to take this opportunity to speak to the family. Not only the families here, but the families all over the city and this state, families all over the nation. Because without you, we would not be able to do what we do. It's important to understand that we take on a responsibility every morning that we leave our homes, every afternoon or every evening. We take on that responsibility. And only because of what you give us, the gentle hug, the kiss on the cheek, the I love you as we're leaving the house, gives us reason to do what we do and represent that that we represent while, while doing it. I need for you to understand the importance that you hold every day that we don these uniforms. It's because of you that we leave our homes with a smile on our face. It's because of you that we carry the level of respect that we have while we're donning these uniforms. 
and it's because of you that we have the burning sensation in our bellies to return home. It keeps us on our P's and Q's. And every now and again, every now and again, we suffer a loss. But it's because of you that we're able to carry on. And I, we need for you to understand from the bottom of our hearts, our minds, and our souls, we appreciate the sacrifice that you have given whether it was 10 years ago, 15 years ago, or 60 years ago, your loved ones will never be forgotten. As long as these buildings are erect, these monuments are presented, as long as the wall stands in Washington, D.C., every year about the same time, we will continue to hold a level, a very high level of respect for you, your family members, and the sacrifices that you made. We sincerely, from the bottom of our hearts, want to say it is because of you, and we thank you. Let us pray. Father, how we honor you and thank you for this opportunity to come together to honor these men, these women that have given their life ultimately in the service to this city, to those officers in this country. We thank you for your grace, your mercy, and your love, and we pray for these families. We pray that you would continue to protect them and strengthen them. We pray for our officers that are serving currently now. They'd have that wisdom, that strength to continue to serve. And with your divine protection be upon them and upon their families as they serve us. Thank you once again for our city, our mayor, our chief of police, our directors. And we come and we ask that you would be continuously glorified in our actions and our duties. We ask this and the blessings upon this time together. In Jesus' name, amen. That will conclude today's ceremony. We thank you all for being here.